Welcome to The Near Memo, a weekly conversation about search, social, and commerce. What happened, why it matters, and the implications for local. And Mike, you did a webinar yesterday for Duda uh, with uh, Joy Hawkins and Ben Fisher, in which you talked a lot about images on Google. And I know that's a, a particular interest of yours. We all did. Joy has done some with, great research. Yeah. But I mean, to me, what's interesting about images and Google is this arc of the historical arc where Google started developing their AI to understand image content and how that's affected the local search result, where they are now driving ads, local packs, mobile uh, organic result with intent driven queries. They're delivering up images that match the query and it represents their increasing understanding. So if you, for example, do a product search like a Nikon, whatever uh, product, a Nikon camera, and that will show up in the ads, it'll show up, images will show up in local pack, images will show in the organic mobile uh, thumbnails. And this is all done without the benefit of image alt tags. It's yeah. done with Google's understanding of the context and the content of the image. And it also and this, works with, gen- it doesn't even have to be a specific product. It can be a generic product category, such as strollers. Uh, right. And you'll see the stroller department at Walmart showing right. up in an image in the local pack. So Right. So so that we talked a lot about that and how a company like Air.com, who I'm consulting for, is leveraging this to understand how they understand images. So when you take the image initially, it can be clear that the image is understood by Google because Machine learning is never perfect, and they often make stupid machine learning mistakes. And it's important for SEOs to think about images in that bimodal way, that it has to serve both the aesthetic interest of the business as well as the technical understanding that Google has of the image. So we talked about that in great length. The other thing we talked about was video and how video... And one of the things I just wanted to mention here was just this tactical idea of using Riverside for local SEOs or for any SEO to generate content. Riverside is the product we're using to record this, which what which you have no economic I have no economic with. relationship with. That's correct. Um, if the uh, if the FTC yes, is listening. but the idea was that you could use this to interview your small business customers who have tremendous hard time generating content for their website. Ask them eight or nine questions. Get each get two minute answers. They get, they're super high quality. They're uploaded to the cloud. You can then edit them, transcribe them, and have a year's worth of content in a half hour or an hour recording session. And it was just about, and so I just see the evolution of these video tools and the evolution of these photographic tools as something that agencies can leverage for their clients uh, for a significant gain. And I think that's an amazing thing. Two, two, two quick points on that. Uh, I mean, increasingly, search is concentrated on mobile devices. Images and video are better suited to mobile devices, you know, in terms that rather than extended text articles. Um, and then um, what's, uh, what's, oh, now I'm blanking on the second point. I well, was the second make. point I would make is that um, Google is now going to be using <laughs> as we go forward over the next five years, Google is going to use images as part of a query string. Right, that historically been able yeah. to drop an image into lens, get a oh, single answer back. But now you can add context to an image that you're dropping into Google search and textual context, and Google will answer the image query in context. So Google has used it historically for search results and matching intent. Now they're actually going to be generating. So it opens up a whole new area of SEO, which is matching images to the to the queries. I don't even know how that would work. To, to search, search intent. intent, right? So I, I remember. I remember the, oh, the okay. second thing I was going to say. Like so, in, so point, increasing. Okay. No, no, I liked it, but um, I, it's related to what you said. Is that is that increasingly sort of visual search will be uh, whether it's being conducted um, sort of online in in a sense, you know, like uh, the Instagram uh, search for related products feature or Pinterest. Right, you're on the site and you click on an image or you upload the image as you, you're mentioning. Or, or if in the real world, right? I mean, you're you're in a in a store and you take a picture of a lamp or a chair, or you're out in the world and you take a picture of a stroller, right? So those those are increasing use cases going forward, and Google wants to be able to serve them, you know, and it can today, but I mean, it'll get better and better um, as an alternative sort of vehicle for search rather than a kind of query in a box. 
which speaks to the actual use of AR as opposed to the imagined use of AR in Meta's introduction yesterday. To circle back to uh, to the to the to the company, we're not going to talk. About, we won't right? name. Thanks for joining David, Mike, and Greg. To stay on top of the latest developments in local, subscribe to our newsletter at nearmedia.co. We'll see you next week.